Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over the new James Charles and Morphe collab with Unleash Your Inner Artist. If you want to see how I created this look and what I think of the palette, make sure you stay tuned. Here we are just going in and prepping our lid with some tart shape tape and then we're blending it out with a brush. The first color we're going to be using in our crease is Social Blade. It is the um, more of a neon -y green color that we're going to put into that crease and blend out. Um, and once we get to the second crease color, we're going to be using Daddy. Here, once I switched over to Daddy, I made sure to use a smaller brush and I'm doing more of a tap in first and then I'm doing the swipes to blend it in and build it up. Um, but as you can see, we do the tap, tap, tap and then we do a few swipes to help build it up and blend it out. And then we're going to go in and cut that crease with our tart shape tape again. Whenever you're adding color, you want to go until you get the desired shade in that crease or on the lid wherever you're working and then you want to make sure you go back in and blend that line out so it doesn't look like you have lines but sometimes going and adding the previous color will help with that here you want to go in with your favorite and best concealer to cut that crease generally when you do this you want to make the line for your crease first make it real crisp real clean and then go through and add your concealer make sure there isn't too much on the lid as it will get cakey when you go in and add the shadow you need to be able to set this concealer if there's too much you'll get cakey and crease on you so go in and just add it and make sure you blend it out here we are going in with flashback to a set part of that um, concealer on the lid just along the crease line just to make sure it's not going to budge I always start with that crease line to set it to make sure it's not moving because the rest of it you can work with but once you mess up that crease line we have a problem and then when we're going in to do the red we are using your kidding we're going to pat that on where we want it and then we're going to blend those two lines together to make sure they're not so harsh and to make sure they're nice and even You see me going with almost a pencil brush and relining that line with daddy just to make sure it's really defined and crisp and then I'll go in and blend it all out. Going in with Morphe's new lid topper and pop-in, I'm using Royal and Lane Nichols um, paint brushes or body brushes um, to just align that green cut crease line um, just to add a little pizzazz to this look and then we're going with another another lid topper and flicker just to create a glittered wing liner um, now these are lid toppers but if you go in with a super fine brush you can pretty much do anything with these bad boys without needing glue and glitter and all that balls are both done now it's time to move on to this face going in with Maybelline's instant pore eraser for a primer and just slapping it on not literally but putting it on going with cover girls true blend foundation if you have not tried this foundation I highly recommend it um, it really doesn't move like it says it doesn't transfer I use this all weekend up at gem beauty last month and New York um, with hugging everybody it really didn't transfer or go anywhere so once you put it on and set it it's gonna stay um, for the day
using trusty old shape tape again from Tarte Cosmetics. Gonna go in and just add a little bit of extra coverage to those areas that we need it. Because this stuff is bomb.com. I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. I need to go get a big one. I got this sample from Ipsy last month and fell in love. Now I need 20 of them. trusty air spun for our setting powder. I always like to go into my eyes if I can with a little sponge just to set it. It seems to crease less and give me, I don't know, less lines, less crunchy stuff. That sounds awful. But anyways, in all my problem areas, I like to go in with a little sponge and then I put it everywhere else with a nice big powder brush so I'm not like super cakey with the powder. And now obviously if I have extra in the areas I use to sponge, I just brush it all off. But I'm finally almost done with this air spun. Those take a long time to go through, but I swear by them. If you haven't ever used air spun, go get one. CVS, Walmart, Ulta, they're everywhere. Pop Beauty's Contour 101 has been one of my favorites in the last couple of weeks since they sent it to me and I'm just absolutely loving it. It's matte, it stays on forever, it blends out so freaking nicely, it's insane. Um, so if you guys haven't tried these, make sure you grab one. Because I love these too, I feel like I'm a spokesperson for everybody, but I'm really loving everything in this video. Obviously I love it because I own it, whether I've bought it or it's been sent to me, but I'm loving everything. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And we're going in with Juvie's Place Blush Palette Volume 2. Just add a little pink roux to the cheekies because I love this blush palette. And these blush brushes from Real Techniques are just perfecto when I'm going in and doing my cheeks, contouring them up really well. Here we are going in with Morphe's Babe in Paradise Highlight Palette. Another absolute fave that works great with all skin tones. That's one of my favorite things when I buy products is I like to find products that work for everybody. Not just me, not just women of color, but everybody. It's so key to be able to cater to everybody nowadays everybody's skin range is different and every skin range is can be difficult Here we are using Morphe's new lip glosses, and this shade is Alchemy. Um, these glosses are either really sheer with a little bit of pizzazz, um, there's glitters in them, or like 
like an iridescent sheen to them. Some of them do have some color to them, but I wanted to go something more nudey with a little bit of sheen to them. Um, and this one just really did it. If you want to see the colors more, definitely put a lip liner under it or a little bit of a matte lipstick under it to help them pop more. But this definitely worked for me. So here's the finished look with Alicia and Artist. I hope you guys love this look as much as I do. Um, I'm really had fun playing with the palette for the first time. Um, and when you learn something along with me, we got to use a bunch of the new Morphe products from their holiday collection. But here's my full review and honest opinion about the palette. Morning, we were on Instagram in my story going over some of the differences that I noticed visually on the 235B palette and the Jim Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. Um, and the 35B has 35 shadows and the Jim Charles palette has 39. The palette is much bigger. The pan sizes are generally the same size except we use the transition shades now and those palette those pan sizes are much much bigger. Um, we didn't have the transition shades before but they are great for those who are a makeup artist um, or anybody taking on clients or those who just need those shades and don't want to pull out an extra palette. Now I've noticed there is a difference in the formulas. My 35 is a little bit more chalky and the Unleash Your Inner Artist seems to be a little bit more creamy of a finish. Um, which I'm not surprised because they've reformulated a lot of their shadows and everything like that over time. Now they have cut back on the shade range um, for the Unleash Your Inner Artist with, I'm not really surprised, um, but for me, being a color lover, I think I'm going to really miss some of those shades. I'm thankful that I do have a 35B palette, but for me, color is a big thing. Um, for those who aren't into color and just want a splash of color, um, the new palette is going to be perfect for them. You've got everything that you need for a splash of color, your transition shades, your neutral lovers, um, and you have everything for holiday to Halloween um, in this one palette. Um, the blending um, is amazing on this palette, um, but it was also amazing on the 35B for me. I feel like I had more options on the 35B palette when it came to all the different colors and making more color options. I know um, from my Instagram feed, everybody really liked to see more of the crazy color options that I could come up with on the 35B palette, where they're always looking for different ways to be able to use and manipulate that palette with all the different colors and everything that was available. But today's um, look, everything worked really well together. Everything blended really well. I know when I go in for, when I'm doing a uh, a cut crease and I'm doing a crease color so yeah I did the green and the cut crease today I just go over two to three colors in the crease now if I'm doing a colored crease I like to do two or three different shades of that color I didn't have that option with the green one if I went to the 35B palette I would have had more options to be able to do this um, I don't ever start with a neutral base if I'm using colors I go straight in for a color so that my colored base is much more vibrant and pigmented the way that I want it to be. Um, even starting with a, a wet concealer base, um, I feel like I could have just had more range to do what I needed to do with the color base. Even though these shades are pigmented, as you can see, they blended really well. They did everything that I needed them to do. I just like to have the extra range, but thank goodness I do have the 35B palette, which I know you can't get anymore. It's completely discontinued. Um, and you just can't get it. Not that every other brand doesn't have some type of a colored palette. Um, I know BHK Cosmetics has a great um, Brazilian palette with tons of colors. Our many case put out great color range palettes as well. And many, many other brands that have super pigmented stuff. So overall, I mean, the James palette is definitely an upgrade from the 35B. The only thing is I'm going to miss some of the range that it had. Um, but you are getting more colors, more transitions, so it's going to be an overall better palette for everybody as a whole. Um, now that color is more accepted, I think it'll be a little bit easier for everybody to use. Um, I know color has been harder for some people to use, um, which I hear a lot of on my side of things. Um, but I know some people are learning to embrace it and use it more and more each day it just takes a little bit longer to find a way to use it that works for your style and your channel or your everyday life that you're in 
So anyways, that is my full review and how I feel about it. It's, I mean, I feel like it's a must for every collection. You need a little bit of color. These are great shimmers. We only used mattes today. Only used the mattes today. But there's so many great, great colors and pigments on here and they, I had like zero fallout. Let's, let's put that out there. Zero fallout on my face and the palette. Everything was great. No weird smells but it's definitely a have just because you guys know how much I love color um, and how much I love Morphe. I'm adamant about using Morphe for everything. So but thanks so much for hanging out with me today, guys. I will see you guys in my next tutorial.